When Amtrak started on May 1st, 1971, they took over the passenger operations from most U.S. railroads. Some railroads, like Southern, decided to hold on to their flagship trains, while other routes were discontinued either temporarily or permanently. Although the Baltimore and Ohio Railroad didn't continue to operate any of its passenger trains after 1971, Amtrak initially did not continue operations on any of their routes. But that all changed on September 8th of that year, when Amtrak ran its first trains on the B&O Railroad. This week, we have some rare historic footage from that day in 1971, when Amtrak first revived service on the B&O. Today, the only train still operating on rails built by the Baltimore and Ohio Railroad is the Washington to Chicago Capital Limited. But this was not the first train that Amtrak put back onto B&O rails. On September 8th of 1971, Amtrak revived B&O's West Virginian with service from Washington, D.C. to Parkersburg, West Virginia via Martinsburg and Cumberland, Maryland. The Amtrak train initially used old B&O as well as Chesapeake and Ohio Railroad equipment. A little over a year later, one of the short-lived United Aircraft turbo trains was transferred to this route at the request of U.S. Representative Harley Staggers, earning the train the nickname of Harley's Hornet. The train later reverted to standard equipment and was renamed the Potomac Special after less than two years of service. The Potomac Special was discontinued in April of 1973. Now let's take a look at the first ever run of Amtrak's West Virginian as it passes through Silver Spring, Maryland in 1971. Click subscribe for free to be the first to know when new episodes and Rail Weekly Extras launch, and to help us bring you more content just like this. Thank you for watching.